Hello and welcome back to the Demis Helen channel. We're going to be taking a look at Paul X Stretch today and I've been using Paul Stretch for a while where we can stretch audio files into insanely long files and then that can be used for like preset building and uh, building up atmospheres in the back of tracks and stuff like that so it's got a lot of uses but the standalone version has always been a little bit buggy on the m1 max whereas this one is native and it does work very nice so pole stretch 3 is what i was using before that's absolutely fine if you want to use that one or pole stretch x or Paul X stretch we say is free as well so the link is in the description if you want to go and see that okay so here we are in the track and I've already started building this this is a track that I'm building and what's happening is I am starting to break this vocal down that I have stretched so I'm going to show you the original and then I'll show you the stretched version so the original is here so So that's the original vocal, quite husky and it's just got a nice tonal quality to it. I've chopped some of the stuff out already, but I'll just show you some of the snippets I've got. So you can see this is the slow down the second part and I've just chopped the S off ready to create some effects. So if we wanted to sort of like hold that as an atmosphere, we can do, uh, super, super handy to do this so i'm just going to show you what i've been doing over here uh, let's just zoom in so i've just been making like a little slide into this and you can see how that works quite nicely there's a transition if i put that in the context of the track and then without that sort of riser on it so it was just straight to this vocal here so you can hear how much that sounds better. And I'm doing the same with this one here, I think. So let's just go out and get the S for this one. And I'll just show you some of the uses that I use this for. So this is the S from the second part. I'm just going to shorten this down into roughly the same file length and all I'm doing is just a little riser into it and you can see I'm just sort of rolling it into that point there. I'm just going to bring the level down. Okay, so that one's too long. Let's just bring that in a bit. All right, marvellous. So for each one of those, I want the same. So I'm just going to drag those across. I think I have some at the beginning as well. So let's just copy those. Put it on the beat. And then this one. OK, so we're going to nudge this in a, a bar. So let's just bring that in one bar and then I can kind of copy this with the sort of reverse to start the track. That might sound quite nice. Uh, and then this one, I just have that first part. But I don't have that in there. Or do I? Yes, I do. So this is one reason that I'd use this for. It acts a bit like a reverse reverb, but a bit easier because you can just drag and drop it into the time stretcher. All right, so a little bit too intense with that one, so I'm just going to lower the level of that. Maybe even met that that short for that one. All right, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I just want to get this positioned nicely. Uh, how's this doing this? Let's have that. I'm just going to drag it to here. As you can see, she starts saying slow here. So hopefully. Slow down. And let's just make that a little less intense. Slow down. There we are. All right. So we have to go through and copy that again. So I'll be back with you in just a second. 
All right, so there we are. We've got them all copied across. I'm just going to hit save. So that is sort of like the reverse. So I'll just call that rev effect for the vocal. Now we've got the rest of this here. So I'm going to duplicate my track, get rid of those there. So we just have these sections. And then we can work on this track, which we're going to call, let's just call it Atmos for now. And this is another reason that I've got this so we can make a sort of atmosphere out of this. So let's get some of the original file back. So I just want a section where there's not too much resonant frequency, which is around this section here. So let's just have that bit. And I'm going to loop this to create an atmosphere. So maybe do four bars like this. So she's just starting to come in with a bit of resonance again there. So I'm just going to kind of move it back. So we're getting a bit less of that. And we can obviously address that as well. So we've got kind of an atmosphere here. And if we just highlight these two and press X, we can create a mini crossfade here. So if I just over loop this and zoom in here, you can see we've got a little crossfade and it'll sort of make it sound like it is just one continuous sound, hopefully. So let's just have a listen. So I'm not too fussed about having that little bit of a gap there. We could tweak that up but we're not going to hear that in the track really. So let's take this, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to take it right back to the beginning like so. And let's make this into sort of a atmosphere that fits in the background. So let's drag it to the start point of the track. So there's many ways that we can do what I'm doing here. We could just have this one long tone that goes throughout the track, or we can use something like um, a sampler, for example. So if I just set up a sampler here, uh, call it uh, Vox Background. So now if I just open my pool, Vox Background is here, and I can go Reveal in Finder, so then if I just drag and drop that into the sampler here, I've got a sample. And now that's in there, I know it's not in the right key. So at the moment it's a C3. But if we bring on span from my other window here, and I just hold middle C, if we hover over here, you can see in that top left corner, we've got a three. Next major peak, we've got A5. So it's in the key of A at this point in the vocal. Meaning if we hit C, we're getting an A. If we hit A, we're not getting that. So we need to transpose this down and can see at the bottom here, C3. So one, two, three, four. So if we transpose it four semitones down, then A will be where it should be. So I'm gonna grab the pitch and just go one, two, three, and four. So now, I'm going to choose best. And now I've dropped the bass notes from the piano into that Vox background. And I've just made an edit. It's now minus two semitones. So it's only two semitones out. And I just pitched that as it were playing. So it matched. So just comparing this to minus four. Totally wrong. But if I pitch this up two semitones to minus two, So now we've got an atmosphere, but now in a pad, we could make chords out of that if we wanted to. But what I'm going to do is copy the same effects chain. So let's jump over to the mixer um, it, as well. You can see on screen here, this is Paul X stretch. And all I've done is dragged and dropped the wave file here. And then I've done the stretch mount to 93.3. I've touched nothing else. It's just as it is. And that's how we got that extra long sample.
So here's the box background. So I'm going to start with the delay. I might make it a little bit more exaggerated now. I've got ROM providing reverb. Let's just have a quick look at that. So I'm using the Airy preset. Um, got 12 seconds. Maybe make it something a little larger. Sounds quite nice. Right, so I am going to put some reverb, um, some EQ on this. So just to quickly run you through what I was just doing there is I'm controlling this sort of resonant frequency area that I don't need in the track. The actual vocal, it kind of supports the tonal quality of it, but we just want to drop that out. So I've done a roll off and then I've done like a bell curve with some dynamic EQ. So it's only pushing that down or compressing it down when that frequency is at its sort of like hardest. And then I've rolled off the top end to get rid of that sort of like crispy top end. That was just a little bit too much for me. So let's have a listen to how this sounds. Let's go back to the first screen. Okay, so that's working quite nice. We could put that into maybe some sort of like granular synth and make something a little bit more out of that. But that sounds quite nice. And we can also have the app option of having the Atmos just on its own like that. Do the same sort of EQ. Um, so if I just do that now, whilst you can't see on screen, I'm just going to remove the original one. There we are. Let's just turn that one off. So it just adds to the background, it actually sounds quite nice. So I might layer that Atmos and the sort of bass Atmos underneath. Maybe mix that in a little bit less. mix that with the bass just here Okay, so there we are. That is just a sort of quick video. It's probably lasted a bit longer than I expected, but just so you can see what I'm trying to do to sort of like build this track. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do if you want to keep seeing these videos. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. See you there.